I'm Frank Nicotero. You know, as host of this show, my life is just like a supermodel. So that's right. I jet set from location to location to have my picture taken. I wear fabulous clothes, and I never, ever eat. <laughs> just kidding, I eat rice cakes. All right. But seriously, I strut my stuff all over the runways of this country, searching for fabulous faces who will answer my questions. Then I make my way past the flash bulbs back here to the studio, where I challenge two gorgeous guests to predict whose answers were perfect and who's needed a little airbrushing. <laughs> and here are our contestants. We got Big Man Noble! <laughs> and Kirsty right there! Now remember, only one of you will win the cash prize, so strike your smartest pose. Now let's meet our three concrete cover models on the street. First, Amber told me about her wienerific job. I'm here in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. It's about 115 degrees, I believe. Amber, are you keeping cool in this weather? I mean, this is a little insane. Yeah, it's a little, you know, I'm sweating under the pits and stuff, but it's all good. Where do you go to school? Victor Valley Community College. And what are you going for right now? Communications. So, Amber, where do you work? Uh, hot Dog on a Stick. See, we've interviewed a couple girls from Hot Dog on a Stick. It's, it's a lot of fun. You girls are usually very personable, outgoing. Oh, yeah, of and, course. And that's you? Uh-huh, all the way. And what happened to your wrist there? Actually, I was skating, and I fell, got a little fracture. No big deal. I'm cool. <laughs> and Josh revealed why if his restaurant gig doesn't work out, he can always join the circus. So, Josh, where are you from? I'm from Riverside, California. And what do you do for a living? Oh, I manage restaurants. So, Josh, I understand your arm is like double jointed or something? It is. And it kind of shows, but yeah, is this gross though? Oh. Yeah, that, that is gross. Yes, you know, there's two contestants right there in the studio now watching you. What do you want to say to the guy and the girl right there? Good luck. Yeah, right. <laughs> Trailers for sale or rents. Rooms to live 50 cents. That's it. <laughs> King of the road. Finally, Elsa could barely contain her Houston hometown pride. Yeehaw! So, Elsa, where are you from and what do you do? Houston, Texas, and I'm a network engineer. Now, what is a network engineer? I design voice and data communications. Yeah, land win. <laughs> now, I've never been to Houston. I hear it's a great town. What would be your advertisement for Houston right now on national TV? Houston sucks. Don't go. <laughs> it's too hot in Houston. Sure, the Chamber of Commerce will be in contact with you soon. <laughs> All right, suck in your cheeks, folks. It's time to find out. Who knew it? I asked all three the same question. You guys must figure out who got it right, okay? Lock in your choice, Craig Kessler, earned you 100 bucks. Here we go, on the catwalk. The first question I asked Amber, Josh, and Elsa. Name the drummer from Motley Crue, who now has a solo career. What do you think, is it Amber, Josh, or Elsa who knew it? You guys tell me, I'll give you 100 bucks. And you guys both locked in, you're both going with Josh and his hat. Kirsty, you think he knows? Yeah, he's from California, he, right. he looks like a bit of a layabout, he uh -huh. probably knows about Motley Crue. Noble, what do you think? I think he's gonna know, he's works in a bar, he's got right. it going on. Yeah, okay, let's see if it works for both of you. Name the drummer from Motley Crue, who now has a solo career. Steven Andrews. Oh. That is not a right answer, you guys. I'm sorry, Josh did not know that. Can't give any money. Now, audience, who knew it, Amber or Elsa? Amber. You know what, it's actually Elsa. Oh. Name the drummer from Motley Crue who now has a solo career. Tommy Lee. You are right. I got and painted green. The skinny man painted green. Why anybody would do that? Skinny in some places is all I'm saying. <laughs> And just for fun, let's see what Amber said on this one. Name the drummer from Motley Crue who now has a solo career. Um, Isaiah Thomas. I think he was a hoop player. Oh, okay. Tommy... Uh, Lee. Tommy Lee, yeah, it was oh. Tommy Lee, yeah, Pam and Tommy Lee. Ironically, we have a Tommy Lee question when there's boats in the background. You've seen the video. Wow! <laughs> I never get tired of that. All right. Here's the next question, you guys. Did you see the video? Oh my God, all right. The city of Mexicali borders what foreign country with what U.S. state? All right, oh. and we're trying to get your money on this one. You're both locked in now, and you're both, uh, no, you don't, you disagree. Oh, you think Elsa knows, huh, Noble? Yes. Think she'll come through. She's living in Houston, so ah, you're right there, ah, Let's check it out. The city of Mexicali borders what foreign country with what U.S. state? Mexico with New Mexico. Mexico and California, Mexicali. Oh, oh no, well, she didn't come through. Kirstie, think yep. Josh is gonna come through? Yes, yes, Take yes. A look. 
The city of Mexicali borders what foreign country with what U.S. state? Mexicali. Foreign country would be United States. New Mexico? <laughs> yeah, it's a foreign country to Josh. I'm sorry. He didn't know it either. Looks like Amber knew it. Mexico and California. Mexicali. There you go. All right. Here we go, guys. Now, for our last question, I held this photo mask in front of my face, and I asked Amber, Josh, and Elsa, my real name is Marshall Mathers, but you know me better as who? So who do you think knew it up there? Amber, Josh, or Elsa? <laughs> All right, you guys are both locked in. Let's see here. You think Josh knows, huh, Kirsty? Yeah, I'm sticking with Josh. I know he didn't know about Tommy Lee, but I'm hoping he knows who Let's this is. Let's see if the real answer will stand up. <laughs> My real name is Marshall Mathers, but you know me better as who? The dude off of NSYNC! Uh... Chris! Oh, that is the wrong answer. Kirstie, I'm sorry. No, but you think Amber can come through? Let's I check it out. Uh, Amber, my real name is Marshall Mathers, but you know me better as who? Eminem. I'm a white boy and I'm a rapper and all the other black people are jealous. I love that one. That's the right answer. Where we got a Noble nice shot. You got a hundred bucks. Recap the scores. Kirstie, you don't have any money. Don't worry about it. Noble's got a hundred bucks. Yeah. Close game. While we go to break, I'm going to practice making love to the camera. When we come back, stick around. Eminem. Put us in a song. Put us in a song, Eminem. Welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's meet our in studio contestants. We got Noble. He's from Riverside, California. He's a truck driver. Now tell us, uh, tell us your story. There's a funny story you got here. For uh, I was making a delivery in Palm Springs okay. and of lamps, and I started unloading lamps, and this lady walked by me, totally nude, frustrated me, and didn't know it was a nudist colony. Oh my God! I hope the lamp was okay. I dropped and broke all the lamps. Oh, you broke all the lamps? Oh man! <laughs> See, I'm not even asking about the nudist colony. All right, Kirsty, Melbourne, Australia, in the house right there. She's in the retail business. Now tell me how you ended up in America, Kirsty. Uh, I met a guy in Melbourne who was from New York. Two weeks later, we decided we should get married. Uh, it didn't work out, but it's okay. I ended up over here, and I'm here yeah. hanging with you, Frank. Soulmate, so. schmoe, Let's win some cash exactly. on the show, right? Yeah. All right. Let's recap the scores. Kirsty, don't have any money right now. Noble's got a hundred dollar lead. All right. It's time to find out who tripped on the catwalk of life. It's our second round. Who blew it? Two at a time. You guys have to figure out who got it wrong. We're looking for wrong answers, remember? Lock in your choice or correct guess earns you $200. Yeah. Plus, there's that dunce cap right there. You can only use it once this round. When you think your opponent does not know an answer, buzz in and dunce them. If they're wrong, you get 200 bucks. But if they're right, they get the 200 bucks. Yes. Like wearing white after Labor Day, the cap can be incredibly embarrassing. So be careful. All right, here's a question I asked to both Amber and Elsa. What sport features men on horseback hitting balls with mallets? All right, there you go, Noble. You've been Dutch Kirsty. Throw the hat up there. All right, Kirsty's asking for it. Kirsty, I'm going to read the question again. You have five seconds to answer it. What sport features men on horseback hitting balls with mallets? Pole. Right answer. Way to go, Kirsty. Put that cap on him. There you go. There we go. All right, Noble, what do you guys think? You got the leaker. <laughs> he looks so sad. Oh. Well, who do you think blew it up here, guys? Amber or Elsa? No, well, give me the sad face again. <laughs> Aww, right. Okay, you're both locked in. Let's see here. Kirsty, you think Amber blew it, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I just think Elsa seems a little more informed in general. Okay. So I think Amber blew it for All sure. All right, let's take a look. What sport features men on horseback hitting balls with mallets? Rugby. That's a, that's a very rough sport. Yes, it is. But, but you, you know, rugby, you usually see the guys running around hitting each other. Are they, are they tackling the horses, too? No, they're tackling balls with the mallets. So Ron Asher, way to go, Kirstie. Another 200 bucks for you takes you up to 400. Elsa got it right, Noble. Let's hear the correct answer. What sport features men on horseback hitting balls with mallets? Polo. There you go. You ever play polo? No, but I watched it. Yeah! Oh, no! No, it's who blew, who blew it. it. Right. We're trying to find the wrong answer. Make the sad face. All right. Here's the next question I asked to Amber and Josh. You just... <laughs> you just got caught. You just got caught with a frankfurter in your mouth. What's a frankfurter? So who blew it? Looking for the wrong answer. 
answers. All right, you're both locked in. Let's see here. You think Josh blew it, huh, Kirsty? Well, Amber works in a hot dog thingy. Ah, you're paying yes. attention, Kirsty. That should be a good strategy. Yeah. Let's see. You just got caught with a frankfurter in your mouth. What's a frankfurter? Big wiener dog. Right, exactly. Do you like hot dogs? No. You don't like hot dogs? No, so you wouldn't catch me with one in my mouth. <laughs> That's a right answer, actually, Kirsty. Yes. Noble, you went with Amber. She blew it, which is good for you. Yes. All right, take a look. <laughs> You just got caught with a frankfurter in your mouth. What's a frankfurter? Um, it's a kind of uh, deformation of a straw, and it's got like weird things on it, and it goes like it like goes two different ways. It's, like, and where do you where do you work again? Hot dog on a stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 she blew it. Takes up the bucks. Kirsty, you were excellent with your strategy. I, it just backfired on you. Uh, That's how we do it. Okay, all right. Here's the question. Last one for the round. I asked to Josh and Elsa. If you're online and someone IMs you, what does IM stand for? So who blew it? What do you think? Who didn't get this one right? All right, you guys both locked in. You split the decision here. You think Elsa blew it, huh, Noble? Yeah, I think, I don't think she's online very much. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> Elsa, if you're online and someone IMs you, what does IM stand for? If you're online and someone IMs you, that I am online as well. That you're, you, right, I am online. I'm here. That's the wrong answer, way to go, no, nice job. You get 200 bucks, take the lead. Kirsty, Josh actually got that correct. The uh, I am is instant messaging. Bring, you know. She works in computers. Yeah, right, I know, that's the scary She's thing. She's also from <laughs> All right, let's recap the scores. Kirsty got 400 bucks, though. Noble's got 500 bucks in the lead. All right, while you guys watch this commercial, I'm gonna ponder the ever-present question. Am I too sexy for this show? Shoot it! Pick your pony. That's right. Each of you guys will choose a player, person for the entire round, and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. Correct predictions were three hundred dollars in the pony round. The dust cap is back. It's worth three hundred bucks. You can only use it once. Now recap the scores. Good game here. Kirsty, four hundred bucks. Noble, five hundred bucks. Player trying to go first. That's Kirsty. So who would you like to giddy up on, Kirsty? I am going to be riding. Josh. Josh. All right, Noble. How about you? You got the lead. I think I'm gonna. Giddy up <laughs> with Elsa. With Elsa, okay. Okay, Kirsty, our first question to Josh. Who is memorialized in the Lincoln Memorial? Like he got it. I think he got it wrong. Uh, let's take I a look. I don't know why. Josh, who is memorialized in the Lincoln Memorial? President Lincoln. First name? Uh, Ed... Edwards? <laughs> no. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. That's it. They gave the dude with the tall hat. <laughs> Edwards Lincoln. Whoa. He got that right, Kirsty. I'm sorry. He knew it was Abraham Lincoln. You thought he'd get it wrong. All right, Noble, you can increase your lead here. First question to Elsa. In baseball, what song is typically sung during the seventh inning stretch? You don't think so? I think she's going to get it wrong. I don't think she goes to any, any Astro Astros games. games. All right, let's find out. In baseball, what song is typically sung during the seventh inning stretch? Do, do, you know how you, they get you going and you do the... What song is that? What song are they singing? Seventh inning stretch, every baseball game. Seventh inning stretch song of the game. Um, seventh inning stretch. It's called Take... Take Me to the Ballpark. Is that it? You're up to 800 bucks. The correct answer, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Yes, very good. All right, next question for you, Kirstie to Josh. Demonstrate the raspberry. Oh, you've been done, Snowball. Put the cap up there. All right, Christy, I'm going to read the question again. You have five seconds. Demonstrate the raspberry. <laughs> Very nice, Christy. Good job. It was a good one. You got it. It was the best one ever. Wait, I want to see the sad face again. Put it on. You're supposed to put it on. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and lock in. Right or wrong on Josh? Uh, right. All right, let's Come find on, out. Josh. Josh, demonstrate the raspberry. The raspberry? Oh, must be a dance. Oh, oh, raspberry, raspberry. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> raspberry. Oh. Sorry, Kirsty. That is uh, that's a wrong answer. Of course, we heard the correct answer from Kirsty. All right. Okay. Here's the next question for you, Noble, to Elsa. What is Barbara Boxer's profession? <laughs> a hush falls over the audience. <laughs> All right. So, what do you think, Noble? I think she's gonna get it wrong. She's in Houston. Uh, right. Very good. What is Barbara Boxer's profession? 
She designs clothes. Barbara Boxer. Isn't she the lady that makes the boxer underwear? That's why the name's on there. It's Joe Boxer and his oh, wife, Barbara Joe Boxer. Boxer. Yeah. That's his wife. That's close. <laughs> uh, she got it wrong. Way to go. Another Boxer. Take shot to 1100. Do you know who Barbara Boxer is? She's what? a congress. She's an... A senator. Close there enough. There you go, yeah, congresswoman. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, very good. Okay, here's your next question, Kirsty. Okay. Last one of the round to okay. Josh. Right. Name the only two states that are not in the continental United States. Mm, I think he got it. Uh, okay. yeah, Rock, I'm just going to go with Ron. Josh, name the only two states that are not in the continental United States. Uh, Alaska, Hawaii. Very good. And how many states do we have? 51. 51, because you had to count that 51st state. That's right. You know, they squeezed in there at the last minute. Which state was that? Hawaii. That's a right answer, Kirsty. I'm sorry. He knew Hawaii and Alaska weren't part of the continental United States. Oh All right. So, Noble, here's your last question. I showed Elsa these three photos, and I asked her, which one of these men is the president of Russia? So, do you think she could do it? What do you think? Uh, yeah. uh, All right, you think she got it right? Let's take a look. Elsa, which one of these men is the president of Russia? Of Russia? Not Billy Joe, and not <laughs> him. Right, exactly. Well, who's that on the far left under? Who's that? That's the prince. That's the prince. And you got Billy Joel, and you know who the president is of Russia, though? No. Vladimir... Rushmire or something like that. Putin! It's Putin! Right answer! Way to go, Noble! Another 300 bucks for you. Let's tally the scores here. Kirsty, $700. Not bad. But Noble, $1,400. When we return, Noble and Kirsty will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Amber, Josh, and Elsa. I asked them... Wolfgang Puck is A, a German hockey player, B, a 20th century dictator, or C, a chef. More frightening than Donatella Versace before noon, it's... The Wager. Get out! Stay tuned! <laughs> Welcome back. Noble and Thirsty, here's the scoop. During the break, you both secretly chose a person, predicted if they would be right or wrong, and you made a wager not to exceed your total. Recap of the scores, Kirsty $700, Noble $1,400. I haven't been this excited since I got to sit between Gwynny and Madonna at the fall shows. All right, now here's a question I asked to Amber, Josh, and Elsa. Wolfgang Puck is A, a German hockey player, B, a 20th century dictator, or C, a chef. So let's get your choices, Noble. You got the lead right now, so whose clip do you want to see and try to take home some cash? I want to see Amber. Going with Amber. All right, Kirsty, how about you? I want to see You're Amber. You're also going well. with Amber. Ah, that means nobody picked Josh or Elsa. We're going to say bye to them. That means a very exciting show because there's only one clip left. You both went with Amber. Let's check it out. Wolfgang Puck is A, a German hockey player, B, a 20th century dictator, or C, a chef. A uh, 20th century dictator. Okay, that's a wrong answer. The correct answer, he's a chef. C was the correct response. All right, Noble, you went with Amber. We saw her get it wrong. What'd you say she would do? Push that button and tell me. I said she'd get it right. You said right. Ah, Noble, how much of your $1,400 did you wager? You wagered how much? He wagered 700. Have it. Bust him down to 700. Very interesting. It's a tie game right now. Kirsty, you also have $700. You also chose Amber. We saw her get it wrong. Kirsty, what did you say she would do? You said she would get it wrong. All right, Kirsty, you have 700 bucks. If you wagered at least a dollar, you've won the game. What'd you wager, Kirsty? I wagered seven. 700 bucks. $1,400 for Kirsty. She is our champ for the day. Congratulations. Thanks for playing, guys. What have we learned today on Streets Virtual? Amber, a Frankfurter's a hot dog. You work in a hot dog. Remember, if someone asks for Frankfurter, give him a hot dog. See you next time on Streets Virtual. Come on, Arnold. Wolfgang Puck is A, a German hockey player, B, a 20th century dictator, or C, a chef? A chef. Wolfgang Puck is A, a German hockey player, B, a 20th century dictator, or C, a chef? A chef.